so now that we have our refactoring done let's start creating the options entity and move ahead with that so inside entities i'll create one more new entity option entity.ts okay like so we need to provide the entity definition to it so in here the first annotation is entity we tell the table name as well and then i will steal a few things from the question entity so we have the id column we need the text for that option and we also need a boolean value which is is correct because we need to store whether this option is you know, the correct option for a question or not okay okay so with this done i think we should have our table ready yeah we do so we have these three columns and generally things are looking in shape so obviously now that we have our entity why don't we create its supporting repository as well any repository needs to extend the repository class and we need to pass the type of model and one annotation will be required like so okay now that our repository is created uh, let's see in the quiz module do we need to tell anything yes we do we need to say over here right and we have an option repository okay this is done and now let's create our service a service is typically annotated with an injectable annotation so I'll do that and the service <coughs> needs to inject the repository so option repository which is a private variable okay this is done so when I now create the controller where is it the final file which is option dot controller dot TS <coughs> sorry uh, back throat actually so uh, option controller like so and then I need to give the annotation so the annotation will be controller question option okay this is the URL that we are looking for now a controller will need to inject the service because you know, that's how we will interact with the database so we'll create a constructor and in that let's inject our um, inject our option service and we will also need the question service so we'll inject both private option service and private 
So if you are wondering why we need the question service, because you know, when the option is created, right? If you remember how we did the quiz um, as to question insert, right? Let, let me show you actually so that you know you understand it better because you know these concepts are very important question service so let's open up the question controller in the question controller when we were saving the question we we had passed the dto which had the uh, quiz id right if you see we are passing the question and we are passing the quiz id and with that what we were doing we first got the quiz and when we were creating the question, we uh, basically passed the question text as well as the quiz, right? Because we were in the service, we are attaching the quiz.questions like this. And this is very similar to what we are going to do in our question options as well, correct? We will have you know, options attached to a question. So that this is important that we have the ability to you know have the question service which will allow us to get a question by id so let's just say we have a post url which is going to be an async method but let's for now just to say save option to question like so Okay, and we are expecting body parameter. We need to create a DTO for this. Okay, so create option dot DTO dot TS. I'll copy this so that you know, we can quickly get over that. So create option DTO. So we have the text and we have the question id and we will have one more fill field sorry which is required is correct which is going to be a boolean sorry not coolian but boolean okay and with this done we can annotate that we need create option which is a create option dto and we need the pipe and validate pipe so basically the dto will be validated and for now we just return whatever is coming okay so create option we'll just return that and with everything properly done i think we should be able to get the url maybe not let's see i think i have made a mistake but yeah uh, let's try that out okay so i have question option and in here let's just hit and it says 404 why let's give it a moment and see what could be wrong the option controller says i am registering routes which is question slash option and this should register a url a post url we were trying post right yes a post url to handle this and you know, a create option but the application is not able to recognize it why because we don't have the controller in the module and that's why it failed so in here the last one is option controller any new controller in a module should be added here so that the module knows what is going on and obviously it also said that the controller is you know requesting for a service option service which it doesn't know you know whether it is providing or not so we just need to tell nest js that okay you know you need to provide that so that you know that is available now so the question slash option url is available for us now and if i hit my request from postman it is giving me the data so we have successfully created our uh, you, the entire entity 
yes there are a few files but you know that's not a problem i think it gives us the structured code for us to work properly right and we have the validations in place as well um, because i think if i don't send this and try to save it will save that yes is correct should be should not be empty okay right so in the next video let's look at how we can use our previous knowledge to attach an option to a question after saving the question uh, option to the database